Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna share my favorite TV shows and movies from Spain. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Usually, when I have a conversation with my friends from Spain or my subscribers from Spain, they say things such as there is no such thing as a good show or a good movie from their country. I, of course, was wondering about the meaning behind their words, and so I decided to watch like a lot of Spanish shows and movies for the last uh, three months. And obviously, uh, there is some good stuff that I saw from Spain that I wanted to share with you guys. Obviously, each country has good movies, and each country has bad movies, and it's the same thing with Spain. There are some that are good, there are some that are bad. However, here are some good movies that I found from Spain that I want to share. Of course, the first movie is Pan's Labyrinth. And Pan's Labyrinth does not need an introduction. Just see it. I found this show on Netflix and it's super good. Super good. Of course, I'm talking about the show La Casa de Papel or Money Heist in English. I love how the majority of the characters in this show have a name from a city from a different country. We have Tokyo, Berlin, and these other places of these people. And of course, we have the professor, the genius behind the operation for uh, the show. The story is very simplistic. A bunch of bad guys decided to rob a bank. And of course, a lot of bad things occur. One song that is really popular in the show is the Italian song, uh, Bella Ciao. It's so, so good though. It's really good. And I recommend this show for everybody. The next thing on the list is a movie called Day of the Beast. Dia de la Bestia. If you like movies like Evil Dead or Return of the Loving Dead, this movie is for you. Basically, the story is about a father from a church, and basically, he has many fights against demons in order to stop the apocalypse in Spain. I swear, this movie is super funny, but I'm not sure if there's a version with subtitles in English. However, it's good to practice your Spanish with it. Other shows from Spain that I like include Isabel and Cocaine Heist. With a name like Cocaine Heist, it's very obvious that the show is about drugs, and you can see it on Netflix, by the way, if you have a chance. For Elizabeth, is basically about the story of Elizabeth the Catholic in Spain, and there's no subtitles for the show. There's like the entire like seasons on Amazon Prime. However, it's a really, really good show. My final recommendations for you guys are the movies The Man with a Thousand Faces and also Veronica. Apparently the story of Veronica is real because apparently there's ghosts in the house, but I don't think so. I personally do not believe in paranormal activities and I don't believe in concepts like uh, supernatural events. So it's very hard for me to uh, believe that the story in Veronica is really real. However, the movie is very fun for me. Maybe it's me, but horror and romantic languages work like peanut butter and jelly. La Fantasma, El Demonio, El Diablo. Those things are more scary to hear in Spanish than English. This is my list of my favorite shows and movies from Spain. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. And until next time, take care.